All right, back for number three, we're gonna do frequency and wavelength. The frequency of an X-ray is the number of times per second the electric and magnetic fields generate themselves, um, so number of waves. So if you're looking at these two pictures here on the side, the high frequency has a lot of waves um, close together, and so it'll be the number of waves per second. Uh, the lower one, the low frequency here, has very slow kind of moving waves, right? The higher the frequency, um, the higher the energy of the x-ray. So you'll see these um, a lot more waves in a short time. The wavelength is the measurement from one peak um, to the next peak. So the distance between the top. So your low frequency is considered a long wavelength because there is a longer space in between the two waves. Your higher frequency, so your higher KVP exams are considered a short wavelength x-ray beam. It's going to get to the patient in a shorter amount of time, right? Frequency and wavelength have an inverse relationship, so they go in opposite directions. So if you increase frequency, your wavelength will decrease. So I like to use thumbs to help with that. Um, so if one goes up, then one goes down. Um, so we'll just do that again as far as the relationship goes. So frequency and wavelength are opposite of each other. So if you increase one, the other goes down. Energy and frequency go together. They're friends, they play on the same team, all right? So increasing energy also increases the frequency. Energy and wavelength are opposites. So if I'm increasing my energy, increasing my KVP, I'm getting a shorter wavelength because my waves are closer together. So you're a very experienced surfer likes these waves. Your inexperienced surfer or your little kid likes these slow waves. So these would be our low KVP. These would be our extremities. Um, the high frequency is probably going to be our chest x-ray where we use a high KVP. Um, a trick a student taught me in the past was that E and F, so energy and frequency, the letters E and F are close together in the alphabet. They do the same thing. E and F and then W are farther apart. So they work opposite of each other. So E and F play on the same team and they're friends and they're a little mean to W. So they go in opposite directions, if that helps you at all.